Hey, what's up guys, it's Kazoo here and welcome to episode 11 of Skill Into Glory and uh, today we're going to be starting off actually playing against someone who was playing with a guest. He had a full Werder Bremen team uh, with also a couple of informs but mostly just non rares but um, he was playing with a guest which is for me I think the first time um, in the series actually that I play against someone with a guest but also just in general because usually I try to avoid them but um, this time I decided to take on the challenge and uh, see how it would go. And uh, it actually kind of worked well. The first half was mainly dominating uh, on my side. They had some problems uh, defending the skill moves. And uh, yeah, it was in general just a really fun game. After 27 minutes, we got a big chance here with Mastur on the left hand side after a great through ball. We then went with the chip shot. Since I recognized this goalkeeper came out just a little bit and uh, it was enough to beat him. You can see from the replay that he punched it into his own head as well. But it was allowed as a goal for Mastur, so uh, we pick up the 1-0 and also his third goal in uh, in total. Then the 45th minute, a couple of skin moves from uh, Mastur. I was trying to go for a volley here with his weaker foot again, but this one went completely over. And uh, that's how the first half ended. So yeah, as I said, first half went really well. And uh, like I said as well, they had some problems defending the skill moves. And um, yeah, in the second half, after 16 minutes, we do make it 2-0 here with the Tarare to pretty much make it game over already since they didn't really create much in the entire game. I also brought on a couple more skillers with the likes of uh, Odua on the left hand side who goes on a really nice skill run right here. Uh, beats the defender there who came in with a slide tackle then uh, cuts in here with the McGeady spin. Was waiting for him to go for another tackle, didn't do it and we could have crossed it in here or maybe could have passed it off to, to uh, Tarare. Went with a couple of more skill moves since I just wanted to finish off that run with Odua. But it uh, wasn't really successful. Then at uh, 84th minute, you can see from his goalkeeper, he decided to bring him out. I had something in mind. Went to, wanted to go with the uh, rainbow flick to beat him, but he tackled me. Uh, Odua kind of got out of balance. And uh, yeah, therefore, the shot with Marquiso completely went over the bar again. And that's how the game ended. So um, yeah, a solid win with uh, with some nice goals, I guess. Uh, and a great goal from Mastur as well. And uh, I think right now we only uh, need to score one more goal with him in order to complete that challenge. So uh, moving on, what will be the second game? We go up against a strong uh, Premier League side with also the uh, SBC version of Lacazette and of course Hong Win Son as a striker. And uh, we start off after eight minutes, a really, really nice attack. Uh, some great stuff here from Tremulinas as well. This uh, time on the right hand side, not really too sure how we end up there. But then look at this from Marquisio, some great skill moves. And then a brilliant finish. After less than 10 minutes, we score a really, really nice skill goal. And the reason why I love this goal so much is just because of how the build-up play went. And also just a fantastic finish in general by the Italians. So, um, yeah, really nice way to uh, make it 1-0 and uh, pick up another skill goal. Then the 17th minute, some great stuff here from Perez on the left-hand side. Want to pass off to Ziyech, who then got a really weird first touch. Um, took the shot kind of whilst he was standing still. And therefore, a really easy save for the keeper. Uh, 30 second minute, the chip shot here from Ziyech, which I think the goalkeeper just got a touch on to it. And therefore also that one didn't go in. Then moving on, 35th minute on the right hand side, he went on the attack with Della Alley. Plays it on through here to the middle to Hongmanson. Really, really nice finish, I gotta say, and uh, he makes it level in this game. 40th minute, left hand side, Belhanda there. I, I think he was waiting for me to cut inside. We did cut inside eventually here with the Berber spin. A couple of more skill moves starting to reach inside the box. And then all of a sudden, one of my players got fouled. And we picked up a penalty. Wasn't too sure what actually happened. So I watched the replay. I can see it was a very, very soft penalty. But um, yeah, we stopped up for it anyway with Mastur. Trying to score his final goal. But we completely messed up that penalty. I seriously got no clue how I messed that one up. So, so bad. And um, yeah, felt really gutted. Because it could have been his final goal, obviously. His fourth one. Then uh, we could have completed the challenge. Then uh, into the second half we go. A 100% opportunity here with Trial Ray. Uh, after we got a lot of space, but a very good save from Butland. I really think though that the shot could have been better, but um, yeah, just a crazy save from Butland again. Uh, then moving on, 70th minute, bit of one-two passing here. Uh, we got the ball with Traore, a great scoop turn, then a shot on his weaker foot, which he puts wide. Again, another big opportunity to uh, to make it 2-1. Probably should have been a goal as well. Then 90th minute, a great one-two passing after a bit of lag. He echoes one and one and this shot also goes wide and uh, that's how the 90 minutes ended. A lot of chances for us, but most of them were off target, which uh, was very annoying since I really felt I could have won this game in the 90 minutes. Uh, the 95th minute, we got a chance with Adam Milson, uh, one of the substitutes, uh, one to pass it off to Traway, good block there. Then a few minutes later, the exact same chance, this time a different skill move. He managed to reach to Traway, 
But then look what he did. He walked back. He sort of did a moonwalk. At least that's what it looked like. And then a shot there which got deflected by the defender. Again, an easy save for Butland. But the way he sort of dribbled back looked very weird. Because I was just messing the B button to, to at least get a shot in. But for some reason he did it very, very late. And uh, again, a big chance wasted. Then uh, we move on into the second half of extra time. A free kick. And I was so afraid that I would give away a penalty so I was trying to avoid to uh, press the tackle button just trying to sort of push him off the ball he uh, did get himself a big chance but a good save there from uh, from Petr Cech uh, he still managed to keep the ball into that corner so he got himself another chance again with Lacazette again a brilliant save from Petr Cech who uh, definitely saved us uh, in the final minutes then uh, one and 20th minute a great through ball from Lacazette to Dembele who puts it wide again really really big chance and we're still in the 120th minute in extra time where Dembele gets himself another huge chance, which he also puts wide. It was probably him uh, yeah, just ha not having enough fitness to uh, get a powerful shot in. And uh, my opponent also wasn't really clinical uh, when it came to the finishes. So, um, yeah, we got lucky. I have to say in extra time because it could have easily been 2 or 3-1 towards the end for my opponents. But I really felt that we uh, could have finished off this game as well within the 90 minutes. So, uh, again, a penalty shootout. We started off well, but then we missed one here with Adi Milson. Pretty much similar to uh, to my story, completely put it wide. He continued on uh, putting his penalties away in the, into the back of the net. We did score this one, though, with a try away to keep us into the game, but um, he smashed this one in with uh, Dembele out of all the players. And, um, yeah, that's how the game would end up. Stats-wise, it was pretty much similar. I think uh, we could have won the game within the 90 minutes, but he definitely could have won the game towards the end in the 1-20th uh, minute uh, with those amount of chances he had. But anyway, moving on, it will be the final game of the episode. And uh, we come up against a Serie A side with the SBC version of Higuain. Also, uh, Quadrado there. And, uh, of course, Dybala. Very good, uh, very good team he had. Uh, the first chance was for my opponent with Higuain. Good save from Petr Cech. Then 12 minutes, we boot the ball all the way forward to Mastur. Got a very good first touch on it. A uh, couple of skin was trying to beat the defenders. Then uh, eventually we'd pass it off to Ziyech, who unfortunately didn't run towards the ball. Uh, he did get sort of torpedoed by the goalkeeper, but um, yeah, the referee didn't give a penalty. 19th minute, a huge chance here as well for my opponent with Insigne this time. Uh, Petr Cech couldn't get a uh, proper save onto it, and uh, he does make it 1-0 to give him the early lead in his game. The 36th minute, uh, some skill moves here from Marquisio, trying to go for a long shot, but an easy save for Joe Hart. Then uh, in the first half, still 43rd minute, we played on through here to trial Ray, and uh, you can see from the gameplay that the game became very, very laggy, and uh, it was pretty much unplayable towards the kind of end of the first half. I did try my best though to uh, at least sort of like get a chance out of it. Uh, I passed it off here to Ziyech. My aim was to Mastur. But um, yeah, the, even though the shot was, was okay, it was uh, not really a huge chance. Then to the second half we go. Luckily, uh, the gameplay was uh, all fine again. We uh, got a chance with Marquisio. Went up forward after a nice burrow spin. Almost uh, gets a shot in there on goal, but a good uh, block there from his defender. The 57 minutes on skill was here from Mastur. Plays it on through to Traore. Was hoping to get through there with the Ronaldo chop. But then the referee blew in his whistle and we got a free kick. And I was, uh, was kind of gutted that we got that free kick since all of his defenders obviously were back again. And uh, we had to start over again uh, creating a attack. But uh, from that free kick, we do this. And I can't complain. Look at that for a strike from uh, Mastur. He has very, very bad stats for a uh, center attacking mid. And uh, if you're looking at this goal, you wouldn't think that he would uh, that he would have, like I think, in the low 60s when it comes to shooting. But uh, what a goal that was. To pick up his final goal and also the final skill goal. So uh, the only challenge we had to complete right now was uh, score with a fancy finish. So uh, that was my kind of aim for this game. As you can see here as well, a bit of uh, fancy stuff from uh, Traore. Panning the, the defender there. And uh, we picked up a free kick at the same time. A great shot here from Ziyech. I think we end up hitting the crossbar there. Could have been a uh, really nice goal. I just really want to at least score a free kick as well with CX since his stats are just amazing too. Uh, then moving on, 73rd minute, a uh, bit of 1-2 passing here between the midfielders. And we end up picking the ball in with uh, Marquisio. Shot was pretty bad, easy save there for the goalkeeper. Then in the 90th minute, my opponent got himself another chance here too with Higuain. A good save from Czech. But then afterwards, I was kind of afraid that he would maybe get a rebound shot in. But uh, again, uh, Czech uh, was there with a good save. And uh, these were the stats after 90 minutes. They were kind of similar. We had a couple more shots than my opponent. And uh, we had to go into extra time. And uh, you can see that we got very lucky. Because I think we maybe could have... Uh, 
could have conceded a penalty there. The referee decided not to give it, and because of it, I think my opponent got kind of mad, went with slide tackles all over the place. I knew he was going to slide tackle me again, went with the rainbow flick, and uh, we picked up a penalty, and he also got a player send off. So he went with the penalty with Mastu. I got a big cheeky, and um, yeah, we uh, we missed that one yet again. A, uh, a save there from, uh, from uh, Joe Hart. I went with the chip shot because, uh, yeah, we already scored four goals with Mastur and, of course, wanted to uh, to win this game in kind of style. We did score the 2-1, uh, the though, nonetheless, a few minutes later here with the uh, trial ray. Not as nice as it uh, probably could have been with that Panenka goal, but uh, still a decent goal with trial ray to uh, finish off the game. Then I want in 16th minute, he gets himself another chance with Higuain. Good save from Petrček, and uh, that's how the game would end up. You can see stats-wise. We had most of the chances in extra time, and uh, at the end, I think we uh, we end up uh, deserving this uh, this win. But uh, anyway, we uh, managed to complete two challenges in this episode. You can see as well, scored four goals in total with Mastur. We have four games left in order to complete that final challenge, which is uh, score a goal with a fancy finish. So uh, hopefully we can do that in the next episode and then uh, move on to the next five-star skiller. But anyway, guys, that's where we're going to be ending off this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then make sure to leave a like. It would be very much appreciated. So I'd like to thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.